Well, Allah again confirms that a group among those who believe invented this slander. So the slander didn't come from the outside. Now in verse 12, Allah begins to raise questions to the believers as to why they became embroiled in the slander involving the Messiah that extends through his domestic life involving his wife. That's the background that the Muslim historians or Islamic historians gave about this verse, which is a prophecy. Now, Allah states in this first question, and let's put ourselves in front of Allah and think about all the things that we have done accepting slander without going and finding facts. So let's do an imaginative re thing, which is really the reality of our lives. So Allah asked the first question to you and me. Why did not the believing men and the believing women, when you heard it, think well of their own people and say this is an evident falsehood? Well, their own people don't even get the benefit of, of the doubt. That's what he's saying. Why didn't you give them the benefit of the doubt? That's where you start with. I know them. They're my own people. So it can't be. That's where you start. You don't start with your guilty as hell. But self-hating Negroes start there. Have you started there? Well, this is a big question, and there's not only one answer, but let's deal with a foremost answer, because he's talking to those who believe. To acknowledge belief in the truth brought by Allah through his Messiah begins, begins the process of reformation from the bonds of mental death and self-hatred because that's how we come to the Messiah. Mentally dead and haters of self, a rebellious house and stiff hearted. That's how we come. Some of you may think you come like you, all that in a bag of trip, trip, uh, chips, but that's just your own demented thinking. That's not the reality. And if you watch your own actions, you'll know that that's not the reality. So it should not be new information that black people are saddled with self-hatred as a result of living under the wicked authority and schemes of our enslavers and mortal enemies. Now, most of us know this. Black people are saddled with, with self-hatred. But let's consider what the, honorable, what the Honorable Elijah Muhammad says about the consequences of self-hatred. He states, one of the greatest handicaps, handicaps among the so-called Negroes is that there is no love for self, nor love for his in or her kind, her own kind. This not having love for self is the root cause, root cause of hate, dislike, root cause of disunity, disagreement, quarreling, betraying stool pigeons and fighting and killing one another. So self-hatred is not a small thing. Otherwise, the Caucasian people charged with enslaving us would not have went to great measures to install this suicidal mentality in black people's minds during their colonization of us, which is still in effect. 